Need I remind you that not two minutes ago we were doing things with with with, uh, with with plates and shit, and I don't mean that shit. I mean that shit, whatever that shit is. You know what I mean? Tired, chat. I'm tired. It's big time for me. I'm getting old now. I didn't expect the episode would be this bloody long. How long was the first one? Was it longer than this one? Jedi stuff. There you go. I should have just said that. Another doggy. Christmas tree, oh Christmas okay, tree. Okay, buddy, you ready? Yeah. <clears throat> hey. You guys go ahead, and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But don't get lost, dude. What the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. So if we stop lying to Chris, then we'll have to admit that it's us, right? But then if we protect the secret, it'll be like, again, the worst thing that could have possibly happened is that he goes, I'm going to jump out of a tree and save me life. <sighs> We're going to go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I know video game, I'm making a decision that's going to affect the rest of the bloody game here, potentially. I'm Listen, sorry, I'm sorry. I understand, but we have to be extra careful out here. You can't let people see you. I'm you sorry. know the rules. I'm so sorry. I don't hate yes, you. I know the rules. But I'm careful. I only do things when it's me and Chris. Nobody sees us. Yeah, nobody but me. What if it was Chris's dad? Or grandma? Or a cop? Or... Okay, okay. I get it. But I'm careful. <sighs> That's not enough. You have to be extra, extra careful. All right. I swear I will. <sighs> Deal. I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? <sighs> yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Wow. Okay. I'm kind of alright with that trees. choice. Please. You coming, Sean? Don't worry. I know. I'll be around. Uh... Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing. I'll tell you later. So, what do we do? We have to pick the one we like. Can Daniel help, Dad? Of course he can. Awesome. Come on, no time to lose. Well, I'm Billy okay, Nomates so over here. Pick the one you like and come get me. Deal? Deal. I've never been on such a just gonna look at this tree wrapper. Behold, the giant condom we'll machine. Have to take the one we want. Oh, sorry. Excuse I. I don't know if we're maybe supposed to talk to the dad about shit or what. Dear Santa, we've been good kids this year. Please explain this hot mess. Tell me if you need anything, okay? Sure. I'm fine for now. Got all the supplies in my truck, so well, you don't can worry. Buy shit. Oh, because we're buying a gift for Thingy Thingy, aren't we? We've got nine dollars. We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. Okay, well, food. Am I supposed to be buying him a gift? Okay, better find a gift for Daniel quick. Okay. While he's still busy with Chris. 
We're going to get him one of these. What are the bears? Oh, bloody expensive, aren't they? Um... Give him one of these. Snowman. Uh, lock. Okay, that is indeed a snowman. Put back. I want to buy it. Hey. Um, I'd like one of those snowman things. Of course. They're handmade by local kids. Cool. There you go. Here you go. Thanks. Anything else? No. I'm good. Have a nice day then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. <laughs> cool. Mission accomplished. We better leave now before Claire and Steven come back. It's not much, but she probably needs it more than me right now. There's always someone worse off than you, chat. Found what you were looking for, city boy? Um, yeah. Something for my little brother. You bought your brother something out here. Damn. <laughs> Poor kid. Sorry. I'm, I'm just a grumpy old gal. <laughs> Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. No, no way. Just here for the holidays. Ah. You got family. My grandparents. <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And... <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Man. That sounds wicked. <sighs> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. And so illegal. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. <sighs> And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, Ooh. well. What do you think? Hmm. I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, oh, pups. Oh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> He's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. <laughs> Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey. No worries. Come on, let's bail. 
It was nice meeting you, Sean. And we could have taken him. It's fine. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. Your daddy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. Why? We're allowed Why? to visit the Christmas market. They were, they were walking away. Eat you? They were leaving. Look at him. Why? You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. No. No. Oh, we can prank him. But he might kill him, so we're not going to do it. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do it. We, we know what happened the first time we bloody intervened. People died. We're just going to not get involved, man. Shh. This guy doesn't look nice. You're right. Because knowing us, right? We would have pranked him, he would have slipped on his ass, cracked his head on that bench, and then we'd be like done for, you know, 27 degree manslaughter or whatever. So cool. How do I... Tell you what, chat, if you want to do it, buy the game yourself and go and click on a button that you can do it. Okay, all right. We'll do it after this, because I appreciate your face watching. Right, what are we doing? Where are we going? How are we getting there? Okay. Hey, you guys ready to go? Police yeah. are already after you. Yes! All done. But two wrongs don't make <laughs> a right, in. mate. Are you having too much fun back there? What did you have to lose? My twenties. That's what I thought. To hammer with a Sibidi so thanks very much, mate. Currently on a five-month streak, goal was appreciate the uh, appreciate the help, bro. Hi Val, how's it going? Wow, aggressive much. I get like this when I'm tired. I don't mean it. I re I really don't. I don't mean it, honestly. I'm really nice when you get to know me, kind of. Getting grumpy in his old age, yeah. I need food as well, I think. I need a Snickers. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> oh, the Chucky No kidding, he dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Uh. Uh, who? Who? <sighs> Come on, don't play me. That cutie you were talking to by the market. Oh, yeah, that girl. She was cool. She was cool. You're too quick. Ah, anyway, got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. Ah, uh, should we pry? I don't think we should. It's not our place, is it? You're doing your best. Chris is awesome. And 
He's got a wonderful imagination. Thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. <laughs> He's a storyteller. I see that. Just like Daniel. When I look at you and Daniel, how close you two are, I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris deserves a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up, okay? Forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. Ain't that the truth, brother? Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs, too. But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. The guy's alright. Woman's a bit nuts. Um. Claire's hot. Claire is. hard. A little bit of a control freak. I know Claire likes things to go her way, or the highway. Yeah. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, wanna set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can beat Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. I feel like something Thanks, bad dude. is about to happen. Yeah, maybe. Hey. Uh. What? What is it? Sean? He's I want to go check on the room. Yeah, I was just about to say we're going to make a decision about the room, aren't we? I know it's mom's. Please. On one hand, I really want to go and see it, and on another hand, again, you don't shit where you eat. But let's be honest, it is a story-based game, isn't it? So the likelihood of us actually staying here longer than, like, the next episode, or this episode, is going to be pretty slim. So if you know something's going to happen, you may as well... You won't give up on that, right? It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come yeah, with been you. so easy. I didn't give in so, so easy. I've been thinking Let's about go. it since we arrived. Really, let's be honest. We all have. And they might not know, let's be honest, they will know. They'll find out somehow. They'll probably have a trap or whatever, or like a breath, uh, you know, like a, a, a Doors to breathalyzer lock. test that Ellie said that. We'll find a way to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? Well, I imagine they might, they might be in their bedroom, right? I'm just gonna clean up real quick. Uh Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Oh! Definitely not the one. Oh. So why did Way we take it then? Wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church. Hurry. Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. I guess 
How much more Irish can you be? Sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. That was a metaphor like chat. <sighs> okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? Ah, oh, this is deep. I don't really see Steven listening to old school pop rock music. We clearly don't share politics, but at least Steven doesn't preach. Yeah, not much to see in here. Okay, so. I don't think it's gonna be in the closet, is it? It might Shit. be on the bedside table or not. Is there Christmas table. presents? The, um... Let's not tell Daniel. Uh, oh, they might freak. be on the, the stand. Vanity cabinet drawer thing. Whoa. I'm just looking for a key. Not the crown jewels. Oh, is that why? Ew. Are these milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute. That's Still. what we use with the, uh, no we unlock that with the key then, right? With the little key. Yeah, no. Yeah, good, good no choice. No way I'm lad. searching Claire's underwear. Good, uh, good, good choice, good choice. Uh, Sean, I saw Grandma. Baby picture. It might be in the baby picture thing. <sighs> Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? <laughs> Still super cute, though. Oh, I thought Sean, that was going to be it. I saw Grandma go into the room yesterday. It looked like she left something there, but then she locked the door. Did you see where she put the key? I think uh, she put something in her pocket. <sighs> yeah, of course. Clothes, old stuff. Definitely no okay. key. I thought maybe it was gonna be in her clothes. Here we go. Nope. Son of a here. bitch. Well, it's gotta be over here then, hasn't it? Oh, hello. Okay, never mind. It was an angel and she's religious, so maybe I thought she might, she might put it in that. Ah, uh, let's try the porcelain figures. Maybe it's underneath one of these. Karen hated collecting trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust traps. Then again, maybe not. <laughs> Love the outfits, guys. Hmm. Oh, man, he looks so different. So young. Right, what am I missing? What am I missing, shitty chat? It's gotta be here, right? Or, I mean, it doesn't have to be. Karen hated collecting okay. trinkets. Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. I just thought she maybe... She used to say they were just useless dust traps. There'd be somewhere else. <sighs> Come on, little key. I don't think... Don't, don't be think... shy. Right, okay. We've, we've searched everywhere, I think. Come on. Where is this card again? <sighs> no way she wore it to church. Okay, so maybe it's downstairs, then? Or in the bathroom. So we're definitely look. Ah, we're definitely looking for cardigan. Hey, I think that's the cardigan Claire was wearing yesterday. Search. Yes. Okay, chat. Hold on to your knickers. Brace for impact, because this is where it all goes to shit. I found one key, so it better fit. Just try it. Wow. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put Close the rest the of our stuff? That was a good idea. If I saw that before we went into this room. <sighs> it's her teenage room. I'm sure she... Sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The, it's like she almost never used Didn't those. Mean to call the rest is probably anyway. packed in these boxes. I think I remember that one. Karen showed it to me once. 
You... Ulysses? You... Hey, Daniel. Check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like... The hero? I guess. So cool. Man. That pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. Hmm. Well, figures Karen was already looking for an exit. Wow. Well, that was deep. Figures Karen was already looking for an exit. Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. <sighs> Never been a big fan of hiking. I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before da I miss my skateboard. And going to the park. With Lila. They want to forget anything related to Karen. Hm. I can relate. I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting, like, some sort of, like, massive revelation or whatever here, yeah, but... Maybe not. So yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. Whoa! Oh, you were a friend of my mommy's. Is that an amethyst? I hope she. Took good <sighs> she was into new age bullshit. It's Karen, his mom. Yes. They looked happy. How could she send all of this to hell? These she ran away so for some unknown reason, as of yet. Did she take you with her when she went on trips? We pretty much clicked on everything, right? Apart from everything in this corner. So this playlist is boring as hell. We're not gonna play the CD player because, you know, obvious reasons. You're not that fl Hope you enjoyed your trips. So you didn't bail on us for nothing. I don't recognize any of these games. Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. Yawn. Guess the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. Well, maybe we do have to play the CD player. I miss my music. I think it's not plugged. I mean, do we... We don't have to do that. I miss my music. Okay, fine. What am I missing then? I'm fairly confident. I pretty much oh oh because the, the well, would thing that he's playing with was sat on top of that. Okay, got you. Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel, come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out, in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. Thank goodness. Oh. Oh, shit. Excuse oh, me. Oh, what are you both doing in here? Except visibly. 
ransacking our house while we're at church? Uh, we wanted answers. We were just looking for answers. And, uh... Oh, was it worth stealing my key? Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. You... Oh. You lied to us. Shit. I didn't click on anything. We found Mommy's way. letter. I wasn't quick enough. She wants to see us. She's not my daughter anymore. Or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me. All of us. She is not welcome back. Just don't blame us for being curious about her. But I know her better than anybody. She hasn't changed. She just feels guilty. I can't hear that. Listen, Sean, I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that, going through our stuff, our personal belongings, oh, that shows you don't respect us. We could go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Well, things are just going to change around here if you want to stay. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! He's gonna use his power, isn't he? Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Oh, chat, what do we do, bro? Chat, what do we do? I was thinking that to begin with, to be honest. Do it, Daniel! Now! Do what? What's going on? Oh, Lord, what? What are you doing, Daniel? Well, there's no going back now. Oh, my baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe it was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's, it's the sheriff. Steven? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Someone called us. We know they've been here. Apparently, someone made a call to your grandson's friend from this house. Sean, what are we going to do? Go hide oh, in the garage. Me. No. No. No way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. 
No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car's in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. We Damn. love you. We now piss off. policeman then jeez you can't do that to me video game jeez oh. that almost got real dark that almost did get real dark right man chris must be so mad at me I could tell he was pissed when he saw I had the power. You get over it. You saved his life. He... he thinks I'm a liar now. He's a smart kid. He's not gonna stay mad. You guys are the... spirit squad, right? I hope so. Sean... I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. But I'm good with it. And I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but Daniel, you need to be careful and listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. Y you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look. I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, Enano. For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here. It's weird. What is it? <laughs> but I like it. It's so sweet. I know I am. I'm just I'm just got an eye for it, aren't I? Early Christmas is the best. Hey. 
I got something for you too. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey. That's a train. Listen. There's a ride. Come on. All aboard. Copyrighted music though, bro. Yeah, man. Let's try to toggle the speed so we don't have to listen to this music anymore. I don't know if there'll be anything like major at the end of it or whatever, but it might give us like a sneak peek into the next episode. Yeah, you'll see that in a sec, I think. After this. Just, we're just gonna. Okay, it's doing it. It's fine. It's doing it itself. Right. You threw a snowball at Daniel. 52% of people did the same thing that I did. You let Daniel kill the cougar. 45% of people did that. Okay, fair enough. I thought it might have been a bit lower than that. You pray together with Claire and Daniel. 89%. Good. You pretend you didn't know anything. 50% and 50%. Uh huh. Okay. You didn't help with the extra chores. Didn't even know you could do that. You told Daniel he did the right thing when he saved Chris. Yeah, you use Steven's laptop to log into your profile. You couldn't talk to Lila and lie to her mother. Okay. You didn't gain Chris's trust. Is that because we got the, the toys wrong? 
You chose to protect Daniel's secret and told him to be careful. 57% agreed with me. You didn't listen to Cassidy's song until the end. Again, didn't even know I could do that. You didn't draw for Chris. What? I just feel like I missed out on so much. <laughs> you bought a Christmas present for Daniel. You didn't get involved in Charles' problems. You let Daniel use his power to help Stephen. And he wasn't hurt. You chose to pull Steven out together and injured his leg. Ah. The cop chased you and Chris wasn't hit by a car. Chris could hit... What? The cop chased you and Chris was hit by a car. Fucking hell. Okay, well, at least that didn't happen. That was good. Daniel did not continue to swear. Daniel won the dice game without cheating. Daniel killed the cougar. Daniel was able to bury Mushroom properly. Daniel agreed to pray. Daniel didn't want to tidy the room. Daniel wasn't asked to wasn't asked to tell the truth to Chris. Overall, Daniel was encouraged to use his power. Daniel used his power to save Chris from the car. Daniel didn't blame anyone since Chris was fine. Daniel enjoyed his early Christmas present. Oh. So, this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. Your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up! They don't! Come on. I'll show you around. Was that... Was that the woman? Was that a weed factory? And was that the same woman that was on the guitar? On the guitar!